Hello everyone, and welcome to this beautiful example of what I consider one of my favourite clocks in my collection. This is a Howard Miller Burton 2 quartz movement. Yeah, I know, it's a quartz movement. It's a modern reproduction of an older style clock. This is what's known as a timbre clock. And as you can hear, that's my iPad doing its clock chime. We'll review the app for that. We'll just stop the chime there. You'll hear this go in a second. This does a quarter striking Westminster slash Whittington jewel chime. As you can hear, it's on the Whittington right now. It does the full quarters, exactly accurate as well for those who've never seen a Burton 2. These are a pretty nice clock. I got this from www.timepiecesdirect.co.uk and I absolutely love it. I got this thing in 2009. It's on its second battery since I've had it because the original battery that I put in this thing was pretty weak. Um, as I said, this thing does Whittington and Westminster chime. If you go to um, www.timepiecesdirect.co.uk and look for the Burton 2, I will find a link to the actual clock and I'll post it on my channel so you can see exactly the wood this is made of. I believe this is cherry and burl, um, but I will give you a link to the page where you will find this clock on their site. There's a tiny, tiny chip out of the top there. Uh, probably been there all its life. I honestly don't know. Um, it's been there as long as I can remember. As I say, I got this thing in 2009 and I flipping love it. It's a bit dusty. It's been sat in our front room. It needs a bit of a clean, but nothing huge. As you can see, it's got a beautiful step line. There's the, the step there. And you can see if I turn it round, you can see that it's kind of a stepped... There's the step look at the edge. Beautiful edge. Beautiful shape. Um, lovely curved line as it goes over the top look. And turn it round so you can see just how beautiful that is. And there's the other side. You see the beautiful beautiful wood the light is reflecting off of that that is just absolutely awesomely gorgeous um, switch that round a bit more and you reach the back now you can see it has actually got a proper back obviously you need access to the battery so what they've done is they've provided a traditional looking back panel with this piece here which I've just moved down you give that a twist like that and it pops off. It comes completely off as opposed to being hinged. And here you can see the, the Seiko movement, I believe it's Seiko, and the little speaker there at the bottom. Now there's two switches on this clock. You can have it chiming all day, which is the top switch there where I've got my finger on. Or you can, you know, by changing the setting, you can have it. You know, got PM, AM, or all day. Or you can change the chime with the switch further down, which is there. And I can't really zoom in to let you see that any better. Well, there's basically two switches. The bottom one there is your chime switch. The top switch just above is your AM, PM or all night switch. You've got your volume control which is there. I've got my finger. And further up, that one there, is your time set switch. That cross shaped switch there. It's for setting your time. There's your battery. In this case, I believe we've got a Dura cell in there. It's a C battery. It's a C cell. These wires just run down to your speaker, which is kind of a rough looking thing, but it's nestled at the bottom there. 
all very nicely tied up look so your wires don't you know your wires are way too long for what they need to be but they're all very nicely crossed over and tied up to avoid confusion let's hear the Westminster chime now we're going to hear the full hour without the strike as I deem that is the best strike to use for a demonstration turn the bottom switch to the left sounds coming out of here I'll turn the switch back to the right position let's flip this on its back so you can have a look at something here I don't know if you can really see there look that's on the bottom of the clock, there's the speaker where the sound is coming from. And it's just a maker's label there. So it needs one battery. And it's been in there probably since 2010. So this battery is on its, probably its third year of operation in this thing. Very, very low battery consumption considering what this clock actually does. It chimes every hour, every quarter. Um, until what it does, this thing will go from 6 o'clock in the morning till approximately 11 at night. As you can see, if I flip it on its back, you can see very well built. It's got felt underneath there to protect the bottom of it when it's on your windowsill. Absolutely beautiful craftsmanship. Felt is hanging off there. It's supposed to have felt there, but it's hanging off. Now I do apologise about the doggies. They're howling. <laughs> I don't know why. They just go into these howling fits from time to time, and quite honestly, it's damned annoying. But, there you go. That is the Howard Miller Burton 2.